there is an infestation and it needs to be taken care of as soon as possible. This is a code red. The best apple cider donut. Ow! This is the cheesiest cheese I've ever freaking tasted. Just spent a week in New Hampshire. We had so much fun exploring and checking it out and we can officially check it off our list of the 50 states we want to visit. We are heading to Vermont. We have a two and a half hour drive there today. We made it, baby. Now it's sunshine and blue clouds after that hurricane. Hurricane Camper came through. You were just sleeping through it. You weren't even concerned for our safety. It's starting to get dark again. Destination is on the right. So we're gonna be doing a little bit of exploring in Vermont today. We're gonna to go to Burlington and there's a bunch of stuff we have to do, a couple stores we need to go to. First to start out the day though, we're over here outside of Best Buy. Yesterday, something happened. I was kayaking, filming a video, fishing uh, by myself, and I don't even know what happened. I I took a dip in the water. My GoPro and everything. Um, got wet. GoPros can get wet, but the stuff I had on it can't get wet. So we need to go into Best Buy. Hopefully I can get some more stuff like that. I lost my sunglasses and I lost, I had two pairs of sunglasses. I lost the other one the other day in a storm drain. These ones were in the water, couldn't find them. My hat went flying. It's just a, it was a, it was a day. We got a good video on that channel. But we had a good day of fishing, uh, but right now we need to run into Best Buy real quick. I need to see if I can spend all my money. We just stopped into the Christmas tree shops. We saw that it was near Best Buy. They have all their Halloween stuff out. We got campy some Halloween themed poopy bags. Ooh, spooky. How cute. Michael made me get all these socks because they were only a dollar. I didn't make you. You made me. But look how cute they are. I like Halloween. We got a calendar for next year. We can never remember anyone's birthdays on the road. We're really bad about that. So this is like a camping one. Got all the cute camping month. Life is better around the campfire. So true. Our trash can. Oh. Yeah, because Michael puts fish in our trash can and then it smells really I bad. just have to say, I just want the internet and the universe to know this, man. One of my goals in life is to get one of those Chipotle cards so that I could literally just go to Chipotle and then just show them the card and they're like, you're good. It's like a Chipotle black card or something. I know a lot of the bigger like YouTuber people have them and celebrities and stuff and I don't know. I don't know how I'd get one, but I spend so much freaking money and time at Chipotle and uh, it's, it's, it's a problem. It's nice that they have rewards though. So we just stumbled upon the world's largest filing cabinet. Who even knew that was a thing? but it is, and it is quite large. Today we're gonna explore Vermont a little more. We're actually doing a very Vermont thing. We're at a maple syrup factory. So we're gonna go taste test some maple syrup, maybe tour around and see how they make the syrup, and uh, definitely buy some. Unfortunately, we can't make our own syrup and yeah, get we a didn't, tree. Yeah, we didn't realize it's not that time of year. Who knew there was a, like a time of year where you could shank a tree and get some stuff i don't know i guess you boil it then I, we need to come back and do that <laughs> look a nice little it's rv there there's there like tour some... truck tour buses here okay stop i'm okay stop why are you embarrassed <laughs> there's people yeah, there's like a lot of people Wait, stop. you're a movie star stop Ow. it Peter. hello we're in the movies is this the theater how do we put our videos on Push play. Play. Are you Rex or James? Hello? You want to sneeze on her face? Oh, look at his horn. It's like yeah. curled. Remember I said I, I really wanted to get some syrup from a tree? I didn't realize that this place, we watched a video, we actually learned how to do it. So it has to be very cold, and there has to be specific things, but they have like this whole crazy setup here and they tap the maple and it drip, 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 the, the sap comes out. And then um, they have like this whole intricate lines going downhill, it's so freaking cool. But basically, where are we even going? If people get married there. I know, that's what I was just looking at. There's like a- An arbor. Do I look like I'm in the sound of music? I was saying though, that uh, the whole setup and everything for this is really cool and the way that they do it, so like, you get the sap and then they like boil it and they do some like reverse osmosis and uh oh look lamb's ear look at that easily distracting 
but it's really cool and I want to do it but you have to be here in like the winter and it's really snowy and muddy and stuff so I don't know if we're actually gonna do that this year but maybe in the future there was a whole like tour bus though of like these old people they were kind of funny but it was packed in that place so we're gonna go back into the thing after we go on this little walk and they have like different types of maple syrup testing and I found out that a lot of the syrups I've been using don't even have pure maple or any maple in them at all right yeah you like miss butterworth that's like miss butterworth is low, low key fire but we're gonna go in there it's like apparently vermont syrup is like the best syrup in the world we're gonna go in here taste test some of them the lighter ones are from like earlier in the year and then the darker ones have a more maple leaf flavor they were so we learned a lot like from the video i want to taste test this man they should get freaking waffles with it and stuff who thought wait really quick like who gets this stuff from a tree and thinks to put it on like a waffle or who even created a waffle or a pancake like why would you put tree stuff on a i don't know let's get in there <laughs> It takes 40 gallons of sap to make this gallon of syrup. Isn't that crazy? That's a lot of sap. All right, so let's do the challenge. It's whoever, a good can, whoever can chug one first wins. It's like the milk challenge, remember that? No. We're gonna get this syrup because it has all the different grades and we'll talk about it later. I got the goods. So we wanted to sample all of the grades of syrup. So we got this little sample pack. The golden and the amber are like the most common that you would put on like your pancakes and waffles with amber being the most popular. And then the darker they get, the stronger the maple flavor. And the darkest one is like good for like cooking and stuff. But I thought you were going to say like it's good for your heart or something. No, I don't, I don't think so. So that's but like the, uh, what's that beer called? An IPA. No. Or a Guinness? Yeah, that's like the Guinness. That's of like the Guinness of syrups. Syrups. But I'm excited to try them all and compare. We'll have to do a little like sip of them or something. We'll be making waffles. This card to send to my nephews. We do that every state we go to. And then we also got these little maple drop. It's just like um. It's like a cough drop. Like a cough drop, <laughs> but like pure maple syrup. So those will be good. Wow. Would you just look at that view right there? We got all these. Oh, hello. We got the mountains. We were driving into this town Kelsey wants to check out called Stowe and we passed a sign for this place it said like the best apple cider donuts or apple cider something. If you know anything about us especially me I freaking love apple cider donuts and apple cider so we're gonna go in here I think they have hard cider too. It's seagulls. Why are there seagulls in Vermont? Oh, this is really cool it's like a music video shot because the sun's behind you. Do something cool. Like what? Do something cool. What does it be do something cool mean? Oh my gosh. You're fired. Ugh. Oh my god, it smells so freaking good. It does. Excuse me, ma'am, where's the cider donuts? These for campers. What they're literally they? doggy donuts. Well, they're not donuts, but I just found these socks and I kind of need them. That's a little camper on them. I, I was I was thinking about it then. It's $10 socks. Yeah, it's a little steep. That's crazy. That's I can cool. get so many cider donuts. Where's the queen? Probably apple cider. Oh, really? Oh my god. Oh, it's dripping. It's really good. Do you want to try some? Oh, yeah. It's so cool that they have that. That is really cool. Especially in these times that it's open. It's really good. But the other place that we tried recently was really, really good. The one we bought it from, I don't think this is good to be honest. It's like, not as apple-y. But, I mean, I'll freak with it. Give me your honest review. I think it's really good. You don't like it as much? You say I about mean, everything on the channel. <laughs> what else am I supposed to say? It's really good. Um, so I mean, I guess the other one did taste a little bit more apple-y, but it's still really good apple cider. Is that you? Come on, open them. Open them, open them. Take it with that. They Do look, look good? Uh, no? I don't, we have really good uh, apple cider donuts. I'm like a critique, but we have really good ones in Delaware, and they have like cinnamon and sugar on them. Yeah, these don't, again. They, they, they said legendary though. But these don't look as fried as the other place, so I think I'll like these better. All right, give it a shot. Okay. I'll get a view of that. It's really good. <laughs> it's good. I like it. I like it way more than the other ones. That's pretty good. I think it'll be better warm. Yeah, if it was warm, that'd be at the top of the Vermont and New Hampshire list. Do any of you guys like dip? I feel like it'd be good to dip this in the apple cider. 
I don't know. I'm happy. We have a major problem in our camper. There is an infestation and it needs to be taken care of as soon as possible. This is a code red. So over the past probably what, like week? We've had this issue arise. It started off very slowly and all of a sudden it freaking landslid and now we're literally infested. I swear, I don't know what happened, but Kelsey had these bananas. And then somehow like one of these days where there's like a little thing, thing flying around, right? We were like, oh, that's weird. Let's kill that. And then we had the door open here and there at nighttime, so I was like, maybe it's like some stuff's flying in from that, like camper gets out at night and stuff flies in the camper sometimes, like little moths and stuff. But then as the days progress, another bug pops up. Then I see two out of like the corner of my eye pops up, some in the bathroom, some on the wall. We are infested with freaking fruit flies, dude. And it's from the bananas. No more bananas. They were like going bad. And now we have a problem. A major uh, problem. They're like everywhere. Like literally we came in the camper, there was like freaking five up here. They were flying around in your face, buzzing. I feel like I'm like landing on me all the time. So we got to fix this. And it's a freaking issue. Look at this. Look at all these freaking ants. Fruit flies. They're just like everywhere. Okay, it's ending right now, this infestation. Got apple cider vinegar. Open that up. Dump some into the here. Into the here. In there. Apparently they can't resist the smell of this stuff. And then to kill them, you put some Dawn dish soap in. I think it just said a couple drops. Nice. So right now we are in the town of Greensboro, Vermont. We uh, were doing some wedding venue shopping and stuff. And we came across this little place called Willie's. It's the oldest general store in all of Vermont. At the wedding venue, they told us about this cheese place. And then we went to the cheese place, but you couldn't go to the cheese place. So... Uh, this is the Jasper Hill. They said it's like the best cheese ever. And then we saw this cheese, which is hot cheddar. And we're in a cheesy mood. So we got crackers. And some pepperoni and some smoked lobster dip. I think that sounds so good. Yeah, that was expensive. So we got a little charcuterie board here going on. Truck cooterie. Truck version. Truck so I, I want to try that ASAP. Yeah. We got some club crackers apparently this is supposed to be really freaking good cheese it's so many cheeses to pick from and i, I don't know how they like did it because some cheeses they said had like a nutty flavor and other ones had a goatee scent like what is even that look at this Ew. there's like a chunk of lobster on it it looks pretty darn good here we go it's fresh from vermont too i said i don't know if there's any lobsters in vermont but that's uh Definitely smoked. You can taste it. It's good. Literally drop kicks your tongue. It's pretty good. Take a five out of ten. What? Five point five. It's not buffalo chicken dip, but it's dip. You know what I'm saying? This is from Vermont too. This is Sweet Power Farmstead. I wonder if you can go to that one. We literally like went to this. It's the Jasper Hill one, and we were like driving around. And everybody was staring at us, and Kelsey was oh like, "Oh my gosh!" It was really weird. Really weird. Who eats cheese like that? I'm kind of nice. Yeah. Is it good? Good freaking cheese. Ooh. Look at that little sandwich right there. That's a nice charcuterie board. Mmm. Is that good? Mmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cave aged cheddar. This is the cheesiest cheese I've ever freaking tasted, if that makes any sense. I think we might try to put this in um, like mac and cheese or something. But it's good by itself, but it's not a bad way to spend a little day, you know what I'm saying? A little picnic. Back in the camper now, we went for a little dinner. Uh, we found this really cool spot in Stowe, Vermont. And we had the best buffalo chicken tater tots. These are the best tater tots I've ever freaking had, ever. They were literally so good. Kelsey, how good were they? They were the most amazing tater tots I've ever had in my entire life. I don't know if you hear that, but they, they were freaking good, dude. Is that good? It's got a little stick thing. Let me show you though. So I know we talked about our little situation here with the uh, fruit flies, right? The traps, I don't know if we explained it right the first time, but she was saying something about the soap. I don't, I don't know. Basically, this is what you need to do. I think there's, oh, there's one that just landed on that one actually. Oh, dude, we, there's still some flying around. Yeah, there's still yeah. some flying around. We've been smacking them around, but it's gonna be kind of gross. But if you guys can see from the bottom there, See all those fruit flies in there? So what you need to do is put apple cider vinegar and some soap 
And then you need to put plastic wrap. We don't have that, so we just taped um, a Ziploc that I kind of cut up over there and poked some holes in it. And I don't know what the science is. I don't remember, but just look at this one too. I like the smell, and then when they go in, oh, they can't get out. Oh, that one is so many in them. That is disgusting. Yeah, I guess when they go in, they can't get out. Whatever. We've been smacking them. We've been trapping them. It's the freaking bananas, dude. Syrup in one. We were kind of testing out different methods, but I think the one with just the apple cider and the Dawn dish soap worked the best. But that's pretty much gonna do here for this video, I think. What do you think, dude? You got anything to say? Oh. <laughs> Make sure you guys are subscribed if you wanna see us. Um, I know we got that syrup earlier. We're gonna taste test that in a future video. I feel like you got booped my screen, dude. But we're gonna do that in a future video because we got a lot going on. We have a bunch of videos we're trying to film and we're actually leaving tomorrow um, morning. We're just packing up now. We are going to uh, Maine. <laughs> I, remember, I forgot about that. We're going to a really cool spot in Maine. Stay tuned for that, and we have some really cool videos on the way. So I gotta say, man, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> ow! You freaking smack me! Like a freaking ow! Kelsey, you smack me! With <laughs>